Welcome back everyone. My name is Shane Sexton. I'm a cybersecurity instructor. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at removable media. And that can include a lot of different things, right? CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, flash drives, uh, <laughs> maybe even phones if they're connected by USB and the list kind of goes on from there. If you're really retro, floppy disks. So anything that's kind of, you can put data on it, remove it, maybe put it in your pocket, uh, would be considered removable media. So what to keep in mind for removable media? Uh, wherever possible, we should be using encryption. Uh, we should try to separate corporate data from personal data. We don't want it to intermingle. And we want to keep track of all the removable media devices in our environment so that they don't grow legs, go missing, maybe with some sensitive information on them. And a little bit more, if possible, if it's just not necessary for users to use optical media or USB keys or something, you can always just disable either the optical disk drives, USB ports, or whatever the case may be, either through BIOS or through group policy. And if users don't need it, then there's really no reason to leave it enabled. And that can be a huge security win. So as far as mitigating risk with removable media devices because they can be used for both data exfiltration as well as for getting malware into a network that might otherwise be really secure. Well, we only want to use removable media devices when authorized. We probably want to have checks in place to, to find unauthorized use of removable media. Uh, password protection and encryption wherever possible is going to be a huge win. Scanning removable devices for malware, again, it makes sense, right? Especially if they're coming in from maybe another company or a customer. And when not in use, especially if removable media devices have a some sort of sensitive information on them, you probably want to physically secure them as well in a safe or a lockbox of some sort. So yeah, don't ever plug in USB drives that you find in a parking lot. Hopefully that goes without saying, but that is a common, uh, somewhat common attack uh, vector for, for different bad actors. And if you have removable media devices that go missing, you want to report it. So we talked about the risks here. They can get malware into an environment or they can be used to get sensitive data out of an environment. So it's definitely a concern for businesses and they've been used in a lot of high profile attacks, Stuxnet for instance. So best practices would be, again, keep your personal and professional data separate. Check with the media owner uh, before using media, if necessary, if required. Use encryption, use passwords, physically secure uh, the media device wherever possible. And when the device is no longer in use, we wanna wipe it, right? If there's any residual data, especially if it's sensitive data, we want to overwrite it to make sure that future users can't maybe find that data using specialized tools. Documentation and uh, tracking and inventorying of removable devices is also a big win because that would help you know if one goes missing. And if it's got sensitive information on that, you probably wanna know and you probably wanna follow up. So thank you very much for joining me for this part. I'll see you in the next video.